back we go. It is Sunday, October 3rd. The market will be back in action tomorrow. Let's make this a little smaller. My screen right here. All right. <clears throat> Just look at futures real fast. Dow Jones is plus 104, S&P plus 15, 75, NASDAQ plus 60. VIX is 21.25. The thing about the VIX, do I keep saying this? The VIX didn't fall below 15 or 12 to 10. It did maybe for a little bit. You know, once it goes really far below, you know, the market will be more stable before you have a big crash again or a you know, big pullback. The, the VIX is staying elevated, which tells me, you know, you're going to have a further pullback. This VIX hasn't gone down. It's staying up. So, you know, watch for that this week, this month, October. We know the crash, 87. October is a scary month. We will see what happens with that. All right, let's take a look at ADVM. Sell this stock, Adervum Biotechnologies. Sell this before, didn't think much of it. You know, looking back, this stock's been around a while. Looking at the monthly, let's take a look. <clears throat> stock formed in 2014. This has been around a while. Made a big run up to 60, then really pretty much crashed 2015, went sideways for a few years. I don't see any reverse splits, which is pretty amazing. 2019, it bounced. 2020 went all the way up. And here we are pretty much at the lows, the all-time lows in the monthly. You can see right here. Oversold, see this? Very oversold right here, which is a good sign if you're long because it's not going to stay there forever. Weekly, you can see this. Look at that. This move got crushed and stayed down there for years. Big run up. 14, 15 pullback. Then another you know, pullback here. And look at the move up to 20, 26.98. Now, it did fall back pretty far. And then a you know, slight little move here, maybe one or two dollars, not much on the weekly. Then you have the big red candle. And here we are now. Now you have the 20 EMA over 13 EMA. So it's trapped in this zone here. But I like this candle here. It's showing the beginning signs of something. You see stochastics trending up the daily. All right, let's take a look. Move up, move down, you know, the sideways back and forth, 12, 14. Then you have the drop off the big, big gap down. Good old gap down. We all know that if you follow stocks. <clears throat> for another small gap down. It looks like a base right here at, is this the two level? Yeah, about two level. That's a nice candle here, but good volume, 12.6 million. Yeah, what I would see in this stock, and look at the retracement all the way from here, 23.6 fibs. This is way oversold at this point. If you get back to there, you're still oversold. You're still, you'll be at eight. So watch this. You have the three line right here. It looks like you could easily get to that. 350, four, and then 450. So my immediate target would be, of course, three to 450 right in this zone here in the upcoming weeks in this month. And further up here, we'll see that down the road if that happens on this. Can you draw a line here? Let me see this. You have another little triangle for him. All right, let's look at this stock. 212 million market cap. 81% institution zonus. That is good. They won't let this stock go down forever. They want this to move to make money. Float, 96 million. What else you got here? Any recent news? Companies like Adderum by Biotechnologies are in a position to invest in growth, simply Wall Street. Uh, they present two-year OPTIC data demonstrating sustained durability and promising safety profile from single intraviral injection. So that was the most recent news. What does this stock do exactly? It's a biotech clinical stage gene therapy company develops gene therapy product candidates to treat ocular and rare diseases. It has an ADVM022 candidate. Uh, what else they have here? Collaborations licensed with the University of California, Cornell University. Um, Gensite, Lexo, Viro, Virovac formed in May 2016 or 2006, headquartered in Redwood City, California. Now, that move that it dropped, what was that, May? 
just looking back here. May, May. Doo -doo -doo. So, you know, that big drop was obviously, you know, bad news on the stock and probably the drug. So I'm just reading through. I can't read through this fast. If anyone sees it, just write in my uh, uh, YouTube what happened exactly. Probably that's what it was. But you're coming back up here. You know, this is getting really hammered. Let's look at the weekly again. Right, see the weekly, you're bearish, but it could get into the zone. Could get back into this 250, 350 zone. I like that. It's sort of trending up slowly, which is bullish. I would keep an eye on this. This is a good, you know, talking weeks to maybe a few months play. It could happen sooner. If traders get in this, something really good happens with the stock. I'll put this on your, uh, you know, swing trading list, ADVM. All right. So that's a look at it. You have a big gap up here. You know, it made another small gap here. Is this finally going to reverse after this was you know, 27 this stock? You know, time will tell on this. All right, that's it. Please subscribe and like, comment, trade alerts on YouTube. Smash the like button. Leave comments about these stocks, any other stock, any information. Check out my links below in YouTube. That's it. Peace.